Good morning students. Welcome to the class of C++. Students, in the last classes, we have done the language that was HTML. And from today, we are going to start the next language that is C++. And objective of today's class is page number 3 and 4. And we will discuss about the introduction to computer languages, C++ language, system library and naming your program. So students open book page number 3. Before starting the detailed discussion about the C++, I want to discuss with you the word first term that is program students in a day-to-day -day life to perform any task we are having set of instructions set of commands let's suppose i want to start the ms word for that first step i have to click on the start button then all program then microsoft office and microsoft office 2010 or 16 in the same way, when we want to communicate with the computer, when we want that the computer works according to our instructions, we are having set of instructions to perform that specific task. The set of instructions are called program in the form of computer languages. We are writing the program in different languages. And let us discuss the examples of high level language. We are discussing the languages that are Java, C++ and Visual Basic. Students, we are having two type of languages. First is low level language. That language which is understood by the computer. That is known as low level language or machine level language and the language which is used by the programmer or we people the human being writing the program that is our high level language computer don't know the high level language computer converts the high level language into low level language how the computer converts the high level language into low level language that work is done with the help of translator now what is translator translator is a program used to convert high level language into low level language means we are writing the program, the set of instructions into the high level language and computer firstly convert it into low level language and the program used to convert high level language into low level language is known as translators. Students note that the other name of translator is a compiler software and each language has have its own compiler to convert high level language into machine language and in the same way C++ is also having its own translator or you can say compiler software. Now students we will discuss about the C++. Students C++ is a general purpose programming language. It is very easy to use and it is a general purpose for the common use of the people in the form of programs. We are writing the programs in the C++ and we will discuss the history of C++. Student, this language was developed by B. Jane Startup in 1979 at Bell Labs and the original name of this language was C with classes. Later on, it was renamed as C++ in 1983. 
So students, C++ is a general purpose programming language used by the programmer to convert high level language into the low level language and instructs the computer to perform a specific task and that set of instructions are known as program and the converter used to convert high level language into low level language is known as trust. Now students next term we are having that is system library. What is system library? System library is a collection of pre-written program codes like in the MS Word or we can say in PowerPoint we are having different types of templates ready-made work done for us for our help in the same way when you are going to start the work of maths you are having different types of stationery like the compass like your pencil scale like that when you want to do the drawing work you need to take the colors with you paints brush sketch etc in the same way when we are going to do work in c++ we are having the collection of pre-written program codes that are known as system library system libraries has the pre-written programming codes collection in it like the library is a collection of the books in the same way system library is a collection of pre-written program codes now let us discuss different features of system library classes students library classes are assessed by the hash symbols means whenever we want to write the library classes we want to assess them then we are using this hash symbol from our keyboard student second feature is include include is a keyword directive this include word we are using as a keyword directive to include standard headers whenever we want to add the standard header files in our program we are using this include word third feature is all header files have extension dot h note that student dot h is the extension of all header files let's take the example we will write hash then we will use the keyword directive include and iostream dot h dot h is the extension and iostream is a header file that contain all inputs and output functions means in our program when we want to give the inputs and output we want to perform these types of functions then we are using this header file io string now students note that when we are opening our c++ its by default file name is Name, no name 00.cpp students there is a word dot cpp what is dot cpp dot cpp is the extension of c++ program means whenever we are writing the program in c++ it has its extension dot c++ cpp cpp means c++ and by default name is no name 00 is given later on we can change according to our wish so now students open your page number 4 we will discuss the rules to write the program in c++ whenever we write, want to write the program in c++ First rule is use lower case letters with or for main or co. Students here main is the main method as we have used in Java also. 
we are using this keyword main to start our main method and second word is see out see out means whenever we want the output on the console see for console out for the output when we want the output on the console then we are using this keyword see out both should come in the small letters or the lower letters and use semicolon this semicolon symbol at the end of the line whenever we are ending a statement we have to use this semicolon third rule is use quotation marks around the phrase phrase means whenever we want to print our message that should come in double quotations we will write the quotation marks with it students fourth rule is slash asterisk and asterisk slash are used to give comments in the program students as you know comments are the readable remarks or you can say for the user reference these comments are written and these comments are not converted from high level language into low level language because these comments are for the user reference only for the user understanding only and now we will discuss the steps to start c++ students steps to start c++ are very easy that first step is double click on c++ icon on the desktop and second step is click on start turbo c++ button now let us do it practically students here there is a icon of c++ recognize this icon i will double click on it when i double click on it start turbo c++ button is coming on my screen when i click on it this window will appear in front of me the blue color window that is of c++ and this window has different menus and their sub options students note that the by default name of my file is no name 00.cpp dot cpp is the extension of my c++ program and no name 00 is the by default name of my program students in the today's class we have discussed about the introduction of computer languages we have discussed the detailed history of the c++ language and we have discussed the system library and how to start C++. In the next class, we will discuss that how to write the program, how to run it and execute it. Hope you understand the class of today. Do the project works of opening the C++ with the help of school links. Thank you so much.